to this round of 16 contest here at the 2022 World Cup. My name is Derek Ray, and alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building up, what a game this promises to be. It's Qatar, and they take on Iran. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here, but whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. Doesn't have to do it on his own. And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. Goal! So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Number three. Well timed tackle. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. And taken short. Hassan. Afif. Abdelkarim Hassan. Can he do it? And a goal! Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Goal! So underway Number once more. 2-0 the lead here. Number 19. Sadek Moharami. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. But a second foul after the first one. And so no advantage there. Free kick. Osmoon. Oh, surely... And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. Afif. Almoez Ali. Great ch chances on. And just making the run a bit too early. Offside as a result. Paremi, and with that, the attack fizzles out. Almost at half-time, and they're making home advantage count, I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Yeah, they're playing really well here. They've controlled the flow of the game, they've won their individual battles, and they've created numerous chances. Their only problem in the second half could be complacency, but I can't see that happening. A real opening now! There will be a minimum of five minutes of and it's there for him! Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. Goal! Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. And a strong tackle. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Now, please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form. Will be from the so back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Clean challenge. Well timed as challenge magnificently. Al Haidos. Hassan Al Haidos. He's in behind. And the challenge might still be able to do a bit of damage. And the flag has gone up. Well, he has to work a lot harder to stay on side there. He didn't read the situation at all. And a poor touch and unable to keep it in play. Throw in to come. We're into the final half hour. Almoez Ali. Will he find the net? The keeper timing magnificently to make sure he got there. 
Not the best clearance. Well, off target in the end, and that'll be a goal kick. Well, I think the defender just about did enough there, but that was a chance. Paremi. Abdulaziz Hatem. Ali. Oh, big chance! Still a chance! A goal! An exceptional performance, this! Four to the good now! Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. So a personnel change then. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Well, spot on with that challenge. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Well, it could be on for him here. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. Well, that would be straightforward for any keeper. Udia, Ahmed Ala Eldi, Hatem, Al Haidos, Karim Udia, Hassan Al Haidos, Udia, and the right place to cut out the pass. And the referee blows for full time. They've made it through to the last day of the World Cup. Yeah, it doesn't come much easier than that, does it? I thought they played well, and it was an excellent overall performance, particularly going forward. They'll certainly be confident going into the next round.